Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. Thanks, ma'am. We work really hard on these movie mistakes. And you of all people should know I'm going to get this thing done. You couldn't do so earlier today. How is tonight any different? Well, you know, I had some coffee, a couple of Red Bulls, and it would be a lot more helpful if you weren't over here bugging me. You're the professor's assistant. Uh, I think you got me mixed up with somebody else. I do movie mistakes. Even if you managed to prove your theory, the council would destroy it. Uh, like I said before, they're movie mistakes, not theories. That's, that's a different channel. I'm well aware that the council's gonna have a problem with it. But when I'm done, they'll love this video. <laughs> he already does. It scares him. It scares them all. Well, I, I'm not trying to put anybody out of work, but hey, we gotta point these, these mistakes out, right? I would think you would recognize the value in these videos. I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. So if you know this thing involves risk, then you support it. So how much time do I got to get this thing finished? One night, gentlemen. Impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. Arcane Season 1, Episode 3 is entitled, The Base Violence Necessary for Change. This episode originally aired November 6, 2021, and I must say, this is by far my favorite episode. It's got Silco's origin story, it's got Vander uh, and him like squaring off against one another, well not typically against one another, but you know what I'm saying. But what I'm really getting at is that this episode was amazing. You've got to check it out. Hello Movie Maniacs and welcome back to another edition of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to be showing you a few of the mistakes that we found in... Arcane. First off, I want to say thank you to all the Movie Maniacs out there that have supported us throughout the years. We greatly appreciate it. And if this is your first time watching the channel, we'd like to say welcome. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bells now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. And as usual, we got to drop a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen this episode yet, you might want to pause this and come on back. If not, enjoy. I'm not putting you away, Amanda. The council needs its pound of flesh. Without you down here, it all falls apart. So not having seen any of the other episodes past this point, I've got to say she is 100% correct. Let's hear what she has to say one more time. Without you down here, it all falls apart. I believe that is 100% correct. He does his best to keep the cops at bay. He does his best to keep the townspeople in line. I think without Vander in place, this whole thing goes bad really, really fast. That's a mistake. Just after Vander gets arrested, the sheriff is brutally murdered as we can see from the blood on the ground here. So we've got two shots side by side. The one on the left, the blood on the ground right underneath the helmet, you can see that there's not quite as much as the image on the right. So as we're highlighting here in the video, there's substantially more blood on the right than there is on the left. Was this a coincidence? I don't think so. Staying in the same scene, the sheriff was just brutally murdered and we can see here that the three men are standing around wondering what the heck happened. We're calling this one a goof because me personally, I would have took off running. Especially if I'm handcuffed like Vander is, there's no way he can defend himself if he gets attacked. It's time to start running. Vento, stay back! You never did know when to walk away. See what I mean? Even Silco knew they should have took off running. For this mistake, we got Victor and Jace working hard to come up with some inventions to help the city. So as the camera zooms out, we can now see that there is an image on one of the piece of paper hanging from the chalkboard. But as usual, when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that the image is no longer there. What happened to it? Your guess is as good as mine. And I promise you, it's a mistake. They let us. We need more than promises. We need proof. Well, that's all the proof that I have, Victor. You're just gonna have to go with that. 
In this scene, Vander is choking Silco underwater. If you're curious as to why he's doing that, you're gonna have to watch the Netflix special to figure it out. But on to the mistake. Notice here that Silco has some sort of scarring underneath his left eye. Now I'm assuming they got into some sort of fight or scuffle that caused that scar, but we'll get to that another day. However, just moments later as Vander lets go, we can see now that Silco's scar that's underneath his left eye is no longer there. Man, that water must have some serious healing ability. So Silco, tell me, how do you feel about the mistake that we just found? I hated you, but you kept my respect. Hey, it's a pretty strong word, but um, I'll take the respect. Talk. I'm pulling up on you, man. Put some respect on my name. You already know what it Put is. Put some respect on my name. In this scene, we got Victor and Jace yet again getting into some trouble. They've got a key to get into a hidden room and notice as they put the key in it's not quite all the way in as someone flashes the light on them. Well that someone just so happens to be Mel. But when we get a shot of the door yet again you'll notice that the key is all the way in the keyhole where it was partly out before. Hmm. Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. Well hey, my fans demand perfection. Gotta give it to them Mel. For this mistake, Vi is in the basement with her crew along with her sister and she's pretty upset. She's probably pretty upset because there's something missing from her uniform that should be there. So the camera angle switches back and forth and we can now see that whatever she was upset about is now there. How interesting. It tore him apart. For this mistake, Jace is in his lab putting in work when Victor comes walking in. So from this view, we can see on the table that there's some sort of scroll right in front of it. But when he gets the blue crystal from Victor, he puts it in his contraption, we get another wide shot of the two, and we can see now that the scroll is missing for some reason. Maybe it was on disappearing ink? Nah, no, that's stupid. In this scene, Powder was left behind and she's taking it out on one of her toys. You can see she throws it up against the ground and when it hits the floor the head is separated but not far from the body. But when the camera angle switches back and forth we can now see that the head vanishes for some reason while the body is left in place. <coughs> I know how you feel girl, I'd be pretty upset too. So for our final mistake, Powder has just killed everyone, well just about everyone. But we're not focusing on that, we're going to focus on the amount of dirt that's on her face. As you can see here, there's a little bit on the right side, but not much on the left. But as usual, when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that there is more dirt on her face on the left side than there was before. I would say it had something to do with the tears, but mm, I'm not buying it. You did this? So what did you think of episode 3 of Arcane? I actually thought it was amazing. Let me know in the comment section below which part was your favorite. And as usual, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. Once again, my name is Lee. I'm your host for Moving Mistakes, and we'll see you in the next one.